it's time for revolution. Chicago, what you going to do? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is coming to Chicago with the entire Democratic National Committee. The entire Democratic National Committee will be in Chicago next August 21st, the 19th through the 22nd. What are y'all going to do when they come to Chicago to nominate their next Democratic candidate for the U.S. presidency, which will likely be Joe Biden again. Have you ever heard of Harriet Tubman? Has anybody ever heard the queen of Harriet Tubman? Do you not know you got to break the law to change the law? Has anybody ever heard of the Honorable Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey Jr.? Not Jr. <laughs> Washington Bailey. You got to change the you got to break the law to change the law. Has everybody ever heard? of Queen Mother Ida B. Wells. You gotta break the law to change the law. Has everybody ever heard of the late, great Huey P. Newton? You gotta break the law to change the law. Has anybody ever heard of the late, great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? You gotta break the law to change the law. And you got Negroes on Instagram this morning saying don't get locked up, Lord have mercy. And black people think they wanna be free. You don't wanna be free. You wanna be comfortable. You ninjas don't wanna be free. You want to be comfortable. You want to continue to enjoy the white American lifestyle while you're slowly genocided away. Your problem is money is black America's God. Let me say it again. Put the pastors on. Put the pastors on. Money is black America's God. Let me say it again. Y'all don't believe in no damn Jesus Christ. No, you don't. You lying asses. You don't believe in no damn Jesus Christ, Jehovah, Buddha, Muhammad. That's all nonsense. Y'all believe in money. Stop lying. Y'all worship money. What occupies the black mind all day long? It ain't freedom. It ain't justice. It isn't equality. What occupies the Negro mind seven days a week? 24 hours a day, 12 months a year, 365 days. What are black folks most concerned about, occupied with? The acquisition of money. You're not thinking about Jesus Christ all day, every day. You're not thinking about Muhammad Ibn Abdullah all day, every day. You're not thinking about Musa Moses all day. You're not thinking about the Bible, the Quran, the Torah. You're not thinking about the Egyptian book of coming forth by day all day. You fake Afrocentrists, fake African spiritualists, fake Muslims, fake Christians, fake Hebrews, fake Nawapians, fake everything. You thinking about money. Your whole life is driven by money. Stop lying. Stop lying. I'm headed to the airport, family. Chicago Africans, I will be back, God willing, by the end of the year. All they thinking about is money. Y'all, somebody said, don't get locked up. You think you're going to get free without getting locked up? You think you're going to overcome racism without getting locked up? You know nothing about American African history. You know nothing about liberation. You know nothing about our history within the freedom struggle. You know nothing. You know nothing. I'm pulling up in Midway. Where my Midway Queens at? Where my Midway Airport African Queens at? Where my Midway Queens at? Looking all fine in your Delta Airlines outfit. Looking all fine in your American Airlines outfit. Looking all fine in your Continental Airlines outfit. Looking all fine in your Ethiopian Airlines outfit. Oh yes, where my where my stewardess is at? Lord have mercy. In zero point one five five extra life. thick, brothers and sisters. This is not just about Chicago. This is about the future of Black America. In half a mile, you said, why do they want? 
the migrants to overtake Chicago? Three reasons. Why do they want the migrants to overtake Chicago? Three reasons. Number one, Chicago is the only predominantly black U.S. congressional district in the United States of America. Chicago is the only predominantly black U.S. congressional district in the United States of America. Chicago has the only predominantly black U.S. congressional district in the United States of America. They want to destroy black power. They want to destroy black power. They want to destroy black power. They say if we can destroy that black congressional district in Chicago, black America will never be able to control their destiny ever again. Ever again. Ever again. And when they done busting up Chicago, they're going to bust up Detroit and they got to bust up Memphis because Memphis, Detroit is very black and they think they can take them back. I hope my Detroit Africans are listening. I hope my Memphis, Tennessee Africans are listening. When they done busting up Chicago black power, because Chicago is the biggest and the baddest. When they done busting up Chicago black power, because Chicago is the biggest and the baddest, they coming to Detroit and they're going to bust up Detroit black power. And then they're going to bust up Memphis, Tennessee black power. And they still working on busting up Jackson, Mississippi black power. I'm going to say it again. Y'all don't hear me though. I'm going to say it again, but y'all don't hear me, though. Turn left. I'm going to say it again, but y'all don't hear me, though. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism heading to Midway Airport. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism heading to Midway Airport in Chicago. Number two, white people want Chicago back. See, what they did was they let black folks tear it down so they can get it back real cheap. And they want it back. Chicago is a beautiful city. It has a beautiful lake. White folks have plans for Chicago, but they don't want it to look like overt racism. They're going to look like we're saving migrants while we displace Africans. Y'all see how the new gentrification works? They said they saving migrants, not gentrifying blacks. And since y'all love to be colorblind, and since y'all been fighting for multiculturalism for the past 23 years, despite Dr. Umar's recommendations, I told y'all to stop being multicultural in the year 2000, but y'all said I was a hate monger. I told y'all to stop being multicultural in the year 2000, but y'all called me a hate monger. Y'all said he's a hate monger. God loves everybody. And since y'all called me a hate monger, y'all didn't heed the message. Your God don't see color. Well, guess what, Africans? If your God don't see color, your God don't see you. Y'all can keep playing all y'all want. So they need the black side of Chicago. They want to destroy the black power. And, and first of all, most of all, turn right. Chicago is a test case on how to destroy the rest of black America. If they could take Chicago, the rest of us are done. The sun is out. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. It's never been as warm in Chicago in any of the Novembers I've ever been here before. I don't have, if you want to debate $50,000. Debates with non-scholars are $50,000. Whoever you want me to debate. Whoever you want me to debate, debates are 